Krishnan. And our seniors from class 12, Ayushman and Vivian Samad, to this English speaking skill activity. Now we have with us all the names of the groups. So, Kartiko, I think you are to go for the first one. Do you have any seven groups? Nothing like a bit of exercise. <laughs>
Pratyan Dogo was designed to mark India's national anthem, Ashok Chakra, and Israel's logo on the surface of the moon. This imprint will be a symbol of India's presence on the South Pole region of the moon. India's lunar mission. Chandrayaan 1 was the first in, uh, lunar probe of India which was launched on October 2003. On 22 July of 2023, Chandrayaan 2, the second lunar probe of India, was launched. It was uh, launched. Uh, unfortunately, due to some technical error, error it lost its control from control panel and deviated from its path and finally crashed. The place where it crashed will now be known as Tiranga. A third successful mission of Chandrayaan 3 was launched in 14 July of 2023 from Sri Satish Bhavan from Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. And it reached the surface of the moon on 23 August 2023. In future, this mission will help us to learn more about our neighbor, mysterious neighbor in the sky. For now, Pratyan Dova has found hydrogen, sulfur, calcium and oxygen on the surface of the moon. And for now, it has been put down to the sleep moon. The successful landing of Chandrayaan 3 is a major milestone for India's space program. Today, the entire world is encouraging the significance of scientific temperament, technological and our scientific spirit. With America, US and China, India became the fourth country to land on the surface of the moon and the first country to land on the South Pole region of the moon. The place where it is the place where Chandrayaan 3 has landed is now known as Shetaki Point. Our English teacher and all my classmates. Today, Team Wishes is here to present a small presentation on the topic The Emergence and Growth of Esports. I would like to introduce my teammates Nikhil Mandrav, Kartike Kera, Parson, Edmo Fande, and myself, my Ambush. The reason behind keeping the name as Wishes is that a global uh, esports organization named as Wishes has hosted many seminars and also produced multiple players who have represented their countries on the global level. Now, let's continue to the presentation and let's see what esports is actually. Esports has emerged as a global phenomenon with a growing fan base and the creative industry. The growth of esports has been nothing but Spectacular, around with a global audience of approximately 500 million. In this presentation, we will be discussing about the opportunities and the challenges faced by the esports industry. But before, let's see the history of esports. Esports has a rich history, dating back to the early 1970s, when the game Space Invaders and Pong were introduced, which gave the maximum high of all times in the esports industry. Talking about the current scenario, the games like Valorant, CSGO, etc. dominate the market. Esports has also got many contributions from traditional sports organizations. Now, my friend Devo will come to continue the presentation. Good morning. My name is Devo Point and I would like to speak on esports ecosystem and Indian games in Africa. The sports ecosystem consists of players, tournaments, sponsorships, and fans. Players compete in tournaments to gain prize money and also to gain good money. Myself, Parjan, we like to speak on the topic of the esports initiation. Esports have entered the education sector to drive the esports scholarship and collect the esports needs. Some universities have even started providing esports needs. Esports provides us with many opportunities like game production, event marketing, and 
very good morning to all the judges, my English teacher, and the audience present here. We would like to talk about the key takeaways from the esports industry. The esports industry is a vast industry with a very huge fan base. The esports industry provides various opportunities for growth and innovation, innovation, but also faces challenges such as. Good morning, judges. My name is Nikhil Mandra. I'll be talking about the economic aspect of these schools. The, uh, talking about the economic aspect, it was estimated uh, that the economic market for eSports was about $1.5 billion market for the financial year 2020. When it's talking about the financial year 2023, it is uh, expected that it will reach anywhere between 4 to $5 billion market. eSports community organizes leagues and events which are usually seen on very well-known websites such as YouTube and Twitch. About 11% of uh, the watch time that, that is generated for YouTube and Twitch are uh, from these leagues and events which are hosted by the esports community. Few of the well-known games are Dota 2, Counter-Strike and League of Legends. Now talking about the gaming scenario in India, the growth of esports in India has been nothing but sort of spectacular. As esports were introduced, in India officially for the year 2014. At that point of time, uh, the market was about 25 billion Indian rupees. Whereas if you consider it now, it, it has ranged about 120 to 125 billion Indian rupees. The major rise in the esports in India took place during the lockdown for the year 2020 to 2021. Major names emerged such as Tanmesha, uh, Tanmay Singh, sorry, uh, to his, who go with his Indian name Scout Kopi and Namal Mathur, who goes with his Indian name, a model. As from our presentation, we can say that it has, uh, that eSport has become a global phenomenon with a bright future. It won't be surprising that in the upcoming years, it will be introduced in school as a subject and the next generation will choose it as a sustainable career to follow. I would like to quote the words of well-known entrepreneur, American entrepreneur, and former esports player John Kimbell, who spoke that unlocking the potential of esports, transforming passion into a thriving professional industry. He is a well-known uh, professional uh, esports professional player who has represented his country during the 1919 esports. He is now a well-known entrepreneur in India and in America and has been doing very well at promoting esports all around the globe. Thank you.
discussion is a poet can be distinguished from one another on the basis of the audience they are looking and the target of their research, such as personal, local, national, and global. We today represent a global crisis. It is not the efforts of a single person which would which could significantly make a change in the world. But a united and global effort is required for but a united and global effort is required for the betterment of our world. So we are here to uh, create awareness on the global topic climate change. Climate change is not a foreign concept in today's time. It gives as the news tells about planting glaciers, extremely species, extremely species and exposed flooding. Climate change is very important in our day-to-day life. Climate change we deforestation. Last year deforestation is done to clear out areas for agricultural purposes. Trees convert carbon dioxide to oxygen and maintain an average percentage of it in the atmosphere. To, uh, because of deforestation, the, the, because of deforestation, the concentration of carbon dioxide has increased significantly, and it has caused a disbalance in the equilibrium <coughs> of the Earth. Carbon dioxide is also a greenhouse gas contributing to the warming of Earth. Next is carbon emissions. Carbon emissions from fossil fuels, automobiles, and factories are significantly affecting, uh, are significantly increasing the uh, concentration of carbon and its derivatives in, uh, in the atmosphere. In this is a close transformation of economic and scientific problems. Traditional sources to modern sources like industry, industry manufacturing, that is the use of factories for mass, for mass production, produce a strength of harmful gases which harm our environment. This all points towards one thing, global warming. Global warming is also the main cause of climate change. Global warming is the long-term increase in the normal temperature of Earth or any planet. Global warming is due to greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect can be explained as the greenhouse effect can be explained as the as the trapping of the uh, uh, sun's rays and the heat from the earth due to the creation of a blanket of gases around the earth. These gases include carbon dioxide, chlorofluorocarbons, and methane, also known as greenhouse gases. <coughs> Ozone layer is, uh, is a layer surrounding the earth responsible for the reflection of the harmful ultraviolet rays from the rays from the sun. Now, the depletion of ozone layer that was that happened a few years back was you know, this does not contribute to global warming at all. And it was not the greenhouse gases but the interaction with other gases that caused its depletion. Good morning, respected teachers, respected upper classmen and dear brother. Today, team A1 from class 11 A of Science will present you, will take you on a small journey to get your glimpse on the vast topic that is tourism. Today, with us, I have me, Utkar Joshi, I have our genius class topper, Abhinav Pan, our resident basketball player, Pratham Sevish, and Ashmi Diwari, our football player and sprinter. So, today, we have decided to take things a little slow here. Firstly, we shall talk about our weird naming choice. Originally, it was not meant to be an actual name. Moreover, it was meant to be a way for us to get the first position for talking. But since we are doing things uh, alphabetically this time, we have to take the second last position. So, as for our topic, we have taken up Stoicism, which in my personal opinion is the very best and practical philosophy for life. 
as the small subheading says, your toolkit for finding calm in life storm. Stoicism is that one compass that will help you in the turbulent sea that is life. It is that one lighthouse that will guide your dog to help you dog your ship. And it is that one big treasure map that will take you to the foremost and best and most wanted things in life that is inner peace. Now, my friend Abhina will continue. A very good morning to everyone present. I am Abhinav Pan of Team A1. As my friend Rukar Yuki has helped us discover how stoicism is a very befitting topic. Now, let us dive into what exactly stoicism is. So, at its core, stoicism is an ancient Greek philosophy founded in Athens by Zeno of Sirius around 300 BC. In Stoicism, the main and the most important topic is focusing and emphasizing on what we can control and accepting what we cannot. So now let's take an example. Let's imagine we are stuck in traffic. And obviously we cannot control the traffic by ourselves. So we have two options. Either we can panic, stress and fret over the situation and honk our horns. And the other, we can just accept the situation, play some soothing music, and let the traffic to get clear. This is the fundamental concept which lies at the heart of Stoicism. So, the believers of Stoicism believe that by understanding and applying these concepts and differentiating between what we can control, such as our actions, our thoughts, and what we cannot, such as external happenings or circumstances or other people's opinions, we can achieve a state of tranquility. This state of tranquility was referred to as eudaimonia by the ancient Greek philosophers. In modern English, eudaimonia translates to as flourishing or happiness. So let's just take another example. I want you to close your eyes and imagine you are the captain of a ship navigating in treacherous waters. So as a person believing in stoicism, what will be your mindset? Any suggestions? From the audience? Please anyone? It's alright. So, I think personally, as a person believing in stoicism, the captain should not curse and storm for lemons over the unpredictability of the sea. He should be able to take charge of the situation and sail the ship to the best of his ability, adjusting the sails and making the best of the situation. This is the concept and the mindset which will help us to uh, steer through the storms of life. Thank you. Now over to my friend Pratham. Nice to present English from Team A1. We like you to like to tell you about the history of Stoicism. To truly appreciate Stoicism, we must go <coughs> on in a historical voyage uh, to understand its origin and evolution. Stoicism uh, emerged in the uh, fertile intellectual land of the ancient Greece. A very good morning to the our English teacher and my fellow classmates. As we conclude our presentation, Stoicism is more than just a philosophical concept. It is a practical guide for living a fulfilling life. It teaches us that in the grand symphony of existence, we may not control the music, but we have the power to choose how we dance to it. A mindset which empowers us, a mindset which empowers us. Uh, to deal with life the difficulties with equanimity. Stoicism teaches us to embrace adversity, not as an enemy but as a teacher. It, it, it tells us 
to look for every opportunity for the betterment of every obstacle as an opportunity for the betterment of myself. As we journey, journey through uh, the reasons for selecting this topic, uh, explore the essence of stoicism, delve into its rich history, and make two illustrious stoic figures, epic takers, and Marcus Aurelius, I hope you have gained a better knowledge of the uh, term uh, stoicism. Is 
your commitment to work that one fact of space exploration and technology. Now my friends will call a value for the problem. What is your name? Lakshma. A very warm and fresh morning to one and all presenters. My name is Sri Victor and I am going to further talk on, on this topic. ISRO's contribution to India. ISRO's influence extends well beyond exploration and compassion critical roles in national security and disaster management. Its satellites have been instrumented disaster response, offering vital data for flood forecasting and cyclone tracking as well as supporting border surveillance and resource monitoring. Moreover, ISRO's global recognition was verified by the success of mass orbital mission. ISRO's role in education. ISRO cares a lot about education, the future space experts of India. They do things like workshops and contests to get students excited about space science. They also give scholarship to smart students who are great at science and math so they can learn more about space stuff. This way is to making sure that India's space program has a bright future. Budget issue to face by ISRO has a tough journey with money and problems and competition from other countries but they didn't give up. They found smart ways to save money and work with others. They become known for doing space missions without spending too much. They even sent a spacecraft to Mars. So ISRO faced challenges but found ways to succeed. Now my friend Harriers will lead to the presentation. Hello, good morning everyone. Myself, Arya Sharma, and now I am going to lead for the presentation. It's Ro's impact on society. It's Ro, it's Ro has left. It's Ro has left an immense impact on the Indian space program, and especially in telecommunications and disaster management. As I said, I have connected remote regions, like villages and towns, etc. and have access and have given the access to internet and telephone communication. Additionally, the additionally the real-time weather data has enhanced in forecasting and disaster management. Inspiration to the world. ISRO's achievements has not only inspired the Indian Space Agency but has also influenced the global space industry. There are low cost and budget friendly missions like the Marshall Space Orbital Mission have so that space, space exploration can also be budget friendly. And uh, without the compromisation of the quality. This has inspired many other nations to follow and adopt similar approaches. This was different technological progress from rocket development to satellite building has encouraged, has encouraged international collaboration and demonstrated that that developing countries like India can make Substantial contribution to space exploration. In conclusion, I would like to say that ISRO's journey from humble and beginnings to prominent global prominence is a testament of the excellence in spatial exploration. They have not only achieved remarkable milestones in space, but has also inspired the world with their budget friendly missions and dedication. Their contribu contributions span national security, disaster management, disaster management and education, etc. Significantly elevating the global standing in the space technology. By watching the growth and remarkable milestones achieved by ISO throughout the years, we can presume that it will surely become one of the best space research organizations in the future. Now I would like to end the presentation and I invoke the Respected judges must have liked our presentation. Thank you, Jay.